Hi there, Scott Hamilton, Rockfile, back with another podcast review for your ears, going to be talking about the latest Spider-Man adventure, Spider-Man No Way Home, mostly talking about the 4K disc. Once in a blue moon, an actor gets the perfect role, and Tom Holland was perfect for Spider-Man, and I hope he doesn't outgrow it anytime soon. He's really great. The Spider-Man movies have gotten better as they've gone, and as I said in my review of this, I'm not going to get too much into the review or spoilers or any of that kind of stuff. We're going to talk mostly about how the disc looks. But I saw it in the theater, and I absolutely loved it. I had the same feeling when I walked out of uh, Endgame that I just didn't think they could do this, <laughs> you know, to pull this off, this many actors, this many things, this many all together, and make it work. And Spider-Man really does. Spider-Man No Way Home is as perfect a comic book movie as you'd want. It revitalizes some other movies. It 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 does more with the character than we've ever been able to do before. It's satisfying on so many levels. And it's just a great popcorn-loving movie. It's just... Anyway. The weekend that Spider-Man No Way Home came out, the Steelbook, the limited edition Blu-ray um, uh, Best Buy 4K Steelbook went up for pre-order, which is pretty apropos for most movies. The weekend they open, um, Steelbooks will go up at, at the various stores around the world that carry the exclusive Steelbooks. Um, Zavi is one in the UK. Um, there's a few in other countries. And since 4Ks are not region specific, um, if you miss one, you can kind of catch up somewhere else. So I just had a feeling. Um, I've decided with the Marvel movies, since I have all the MCU movies and steelbooks, that when I see a steelbook go up for pre-order, I'll just go ahead and order it, even if I haven't seen the movie yet. I did that with Eternals, and I actually kind of liked Eternals. Um, so when the steelbook went up for pre-order, I just went ahead and pre-ordered it, and it, it sold out almost immediately. And then I saw the movie, or I guess, I guess it was about the same day. Um, and I really loved the movie, so I was happy, and I sat back and I waited. With Best Buy, not to get too detailed into this, but I've ordered enough to see how things work. So they put up the limited edition steelbook. Like I'm expecting Northman to go up tomorrow or Saturday. Sometime this weekend they will put up their exclusive because I think Zavi had one. It's already sold out. I'm assuming Best Buy will get one. And they will put it up, and if it sells a certain amount, it will go into a sold-out, coming-soon type situation. Like with the recent Batman, the Batman went up for pre-order, and I, I was kind of on the fence, but I really did like the movie, and I said, well, I'll go ahead and pre-order it. And it turns out I was very lucky to get it, because that thing sold out in minutes, and then Best Buy put it up one more time, and it sold out again. Now, instead of saying sold out, it says coming soon, and usually on the day of release, they will release a few more. Sometime between midnight and 10 a.m. the next morning, uh, you'll be able to find some on the website that you can order. And if you're lucky to live enough close enough to a Best Buy, I I don't, but um, you can sometimes pre-order for pickup, sometimes for delivery, but not always both. And with some small handful of Marvel films, the day of release, they it, you're lucky to get one if at, if there is a day of release. Some of these sell out in advance. The Batman sold out pretty quick. Not Marvel, obviously, but um, and then they put up more, and I think that was kind of a case where they were far enough out they could probably order more, maybe. I think with some of these, they buy a finite account, whether it's a finite amount, whether it be five thousand, ten thousand, whatever. Um, they'll get so many of these, and that's all they'll get. Now, I've been burned many times at Best Buy. I, I will pre-order one of these, especially a Disney one, and then they'll still have it two years later. That doesn't happen very often, especially with Marvel movies. They pretty much sell out of those every time. I think they still have Eternals, if that tells you anything. I think they still have Captain Marvel, if that tells you anything. Um, but most of them, they sell out for good at some point. Um, there have been some recent steelbooks that stole out the, the, the week they came out, like um, Dune. You can't find a Dune steelbook anymore. I'm glad I got one of those. Um some of these re-releases, uh, Cabin in the Woods, Hurt Locker, some of those sell out real quick, but then somehow Best Buy finds more of them. So anyways, we found with going back to Spider-Man, um, it sold out the weekend they put it up. And the day it came out, I was so happy I pre-ordered it because it was up for seconds and it was gone. And it's been, I'm in a few 
4K forums uh, on Facebook and whatever, and people are still to this day bitching that they didn't get one of those. And it's it's going for big bucks on eBay if you, if you have one to sell. And um, yeah, I should probably get wiser and buy more than one, right? If I know there's a reseller market. But sometimes, like I said, I've gotten burned and I bought this steelbook going, oh man, it sold out. And then all of a sudden, Best Buy finds more and two, three years later, they still have them and they're putting them on sale for half what I paid and things like that. So it's, it's kind of a crapshoot. But I, I knew somehow. So anyway, I saw it in the theater, and I really liked it. I watched it on Disney Plus and, and really enjoyed the movie. Really hoping to get the disc. You know, let, let me really see what it looks like. Because as we've discussed in my reviews before, discs are better than streaming every single time. It just pushes more bits. There's more bits coming at you. More information means better picture. Better dynamics, better color, uh, better sound. The sound is so much better on disc than it is on the streams. Yes, some things say they're in Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision and all that, but they're compressed on the streams. They're not on a disc. So I read some of the reviews for Spider-Man, and I heard that it was a 2K DI, which means it's digital intermediate when it was finished, when they finished all the special effects and put the whole movie together and edited it and were ready for release. It was a 2K, and then they blew it up to 4K for the disc and for some theatrical releases and things like that. I find it hard to believe that this was a 2K DI. Maybe it was, but it. this is one of the best looking MCU movies, Sony movies, Spider-Man movies, whatever. There's an incredible amount of detail, an incredible amount of color. Um, the, the Atmos mix is just about perfect. It's incredible. Um, I use incredible a lot, but this is one of the best discs of the year, folks, right up there with Dune and a few others. It, it really, all around, the way to watch the movie. Now, Disney Plus has been showing some of these movies with what they call IMAX enhanced. They're not really IMAX enhanced. They're opened up. They're they're full screen or whatever. And sometimes that's what they do to put them in an IMAX theater, but it doesn't mean that you're watching IMAX footage, which is different. Christopher Nolan uses IMAX cameras for the majority of his current films. Um, you can tell the difference in, in the depth of field and the, and the amount of detail captured, that kind of stuff. Um some people like these wider aspect ratios. I watched one on um, Disney Plus I thought was terrible because it kept switching ratios often. I have several 4K Blu-rays and Blu-rays that switch aspect ratios. I'm used to that. But I'm talking like click, 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 switch, 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 that quick. Um, and I have no idea why it would have been doing that because that, that shouldn't have been that way. Usually, IMAX enhanced scenes last for an entire scene, entire segment of scenes, an entire montage, whatever, and then it goes to whatever else. So I can't remember. It was one of the MCU movies that I, I just wanted to see what it looked like that way. I think it was um, I think it was Shang-Chi. No, it was Eternals. Yeah, because Eternals looks much... It's darker, but it looks much better on the disc. Anyway... Spider-Man No Way Home is about as perfect a comic book movie as you're going to get, and it's about as perfect a 4K disc. I'm sure the Blu-ray looks great. I haven't bothered to pop it in. This is an incredible-looking transfer, an incredible-sounding soundtrack. Um, it's one of the best. I, I'd be happy with the regular 4K. I'm glad I grabbed the Steelbook. It's got a beautiful design. Um, Spider-Man with the various bad guys on the front, Doctor Strange floating in the same vortex with a bunch of bad guys in the back. They really did a good job with the Steelbook as as most of the ones. Um, I need to do a whole different podcast about the Lionsgate uh, steelbooks. I just got the new Cabin in the Woods steelbook. It's another great one from Lionsgate. They they put covers on them and use the covers to um, complete the artwork in ways that are interesting and germane to the movies and that kind of thing. Spider-Man, Sony, Best Buy did not come with a cover in any way, shape, or form, but it is a great steelbook design. And if you were lucky enough to get one, congratulations. If you haven't got one, I'm sorry. It's going to be really expensive to get one these days. My recommendations going forward with MCU and, and other titles, if you want to do the collectible version, whether it be the, the Target booklet one or the, or the steelbook or whatever, pre-order it when it goes up. I'm looking for Northman this weekend because I saw that the Zavi one last weekend sold out immediately. So I imagine that the Northman will sell out if they put up a steelbook for it here in the United States. I'll be looking for that this weekend. 
Anyway, Spider-Man No Way Home, if you haven't seen it yet, please watch it. Um, I highly recommend seeing all the other Spider-Man movies that have been made and and being up to speed on MCU stuff, especially when it concerns Spider-Man. But really, it's an entertaining movie to watch just by itself. It's just fun, even if you don't get all the nuances of why all these characters are weird that it's working together and all that kind of stuff. But I I love Spider-Man No Way Home. It's one of the best movies the last couple years. It is one of the best 4Ks I own. It's a great steelbook, too. Total thumbs up. Highly recommend it. If you haven't already picked it up, go buy it now. Spider-Man No Way Home was a, was a home run for everybody involved. I can't wait to see what they do next. I'm Scott Hamilton. I'm Rockfile. Many other podcasts coming. Thank you for staying up late with me. Yes, I recorded this one way late the night before I post. I don't usually do that. I'm usually way caught up. But uh, it was a very long day today. And if I sound a little tired, it's pretty late at night. And I'm going to go to bed after this. But anyway, thanks for listening. Check out my uh, other links and have a spectacular day. Spectacular day.